Wow, I can't believe Shopify actually did this. They beat their earning estimates. So if you guys don't know, we talk a lot about Shopify over here. And lately I've been trading Shopify stock in the stock market and Shopify earnings were set to come out today. And personally, I was expecting them to be down bad because a lot of other companies have been doing really bad in the market lately, like Google, Meta. If you look at Meta, they're literally down 22% today. But Shopify surprisingly is up nearly 16% today. That's huge which is pretty exciting, obviously, as somebody who loves Shopify, as somebody who has Shopify stock. However, I was expecting this to be really bad earnings. I don't know why, I just had a feeling that since every other major company had terrible earnings, I figured Shopify might be one of those as well. So I bought a put contract on Shopify yesterday and I was actually up like 50% on that for a little bit, but then I held it overnight. And then today the Shopify earnings came back positive. So I'm down 80% on that contract, but luckily my Shopify shares are up. So I wanna mainly talk about two things. First of all, my lesson here when it comes to trading and second of all, what this means for Shopify. Now let's start with the Shopify part cause that's a little more relevant to you guys since most of you are building Shopify. Shopify stores or at the very least thinking about building Shopify stores. For those of you who use Shopify, this is really good news. Shopify doing good in terms of their stock price and earnings, at least in my opinion, means that they're doing something right. They're making the right moves in the right areas, which is always good. And usually that means a better customer experience. So it seems like luckily Shopify has been making all the right moves in terms of making their sellers lives easier. What's kind of crazy to see though, is that their net income is down huge, right? So their earnings per share is up significantly, but overall the company's losing a ton of money, which is interesting because this is how a lot of companies operate nowadays. So if you are building up your company and you're thinking that maybe you're losing a little bit of money and it's starting to get scary, look at companies like Shopify, right? I mean, there's literally thousands of people that rely on Shopify income and they're losing $1.2 billion per quarter. So their margins are negative 92%, pretty insane. However, they do have a lot of cash on hand and they're probably losing money sort of on purpose, right? They're just trying to grow at all costs, which is kind of a good strategy. And think about it, almost all of the biggest e-commerce stores in the world are ran on Shopify. So it seems like they're just building a moat around themselves by spending a ton of money more than any other company and trying to acquire users at all costs. Lastly, I just wanna talk about some of the lessons that I'm taking away from this trade. So you guys are watching me learn in real time and hopefully I can pass off some of these lessons in real time as well. So the first lesson that I'm learning here is to not try to estimate earnings. It's a better idea to react to earnings than to estimate earnings because I was really shocked this morning to find out that literally the opposite of what I thought would happen happened. But now when I think about it, it really was a 50-50 chance, right? Of it going up or down. And that's not really a smart gamble. That's basically like playing roulette. Had I not done anything, right? Had I just taken my profits yesterday, my account would be at $1,500 instead of $1,250. So a lot of times it's better to just not try to predict earnings when it comes to options and just take profits if you can and hold your positions. So that's what I'm gonna continue to do now. I'm just gonna keep watching the Shopify stock trying to buy in on the lows and trade some options to hedge my position. But yeah, pretty valuable lesson overall. This lesson cost me about 250 bucks, which is not too bad. And hopefully you guys learned something from it too. Nina wanted to say hi. So what do you guys think? Do you guys own any Shopify stock? I would love to know in the comments. And what do these news mean to you? Obviously, I'm always trying to have some conversations here, but that's about it. See you in the next video. Peace.